Well, after working for years at a bar and collecting bottle caps, Jeffrey A. Mazaris decided to put his creativity to the test and started making unique bottle cap art at his home right here in Edmonton. Now he has something really cool in the works. We're excited to have Jeff join us on the show this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, okay, so I mentioned it off the top, but explain exactly how this art form. I was a bartender in my early 20s and every beer bottle that I opened, I was throwing out all these bottle caps. I was like, this is a shame to throw these out. They're all really neat. So I decided to save them, saved them for a good year. And I honestly didn't know what I was going to do with them, but I amassed this big pile of bottle caps in my basement, essentially. And I was like, okay, Jeff, like you got to do something with these. So I figured I would try creating a portrait. I'm a big Beatles fan. Mm -hmm. John Lennon, obviously very iconic, the round glasses and everything. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try and make a portrait of John Lennon out of bottle caps. And then six years of my time, I just worked on trial and error, what works, what doesn't, and put this thing together. And well, this is 17 years later, wow. so here we are. Such a crazy idea. A product is incredible. He's got it all on his Instagram page. Um, so go to that to see the bottle cap work. But I want to focus on where this has kind of brought you to because you're now doing something quite unique um, involving Lincoln. Yeah. Explain. Okay, so one of my clients about a year ago um, commissioned me to make a bottle cap mosaic portrait of Marilyn Monroe. And we were talking and through talking, he, he divulged some information. He says, well, I'm actually a collector of American history. And, you know, he collects many other historical items, but predominantly American history dating back five centuries. Mm -hmm. His name is Eric C. Karen. He's kind of a big deal in the collector world. He said, what if I just give you a bunch of damaged items that I have? They're pretty much worthless to me. Uh, but if you can do something with bottle caps, like surely you can do something with these hundreds of years old papers. Right. So I'll send you a box and and we'll come up with some ideas. So send me a box full of stuff. Some of these papers are dating back like 1760s, like before wow. America was America, yeah. long before Canada was Canada. Um, and a lot of them were Civil War related. And, you know, Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. And I just thought that would be a perfect fit, a really good experimental piece to see if it could be done, much like my bottle caps mosaics. So same kind of deal. I just got to work, went through all of these papers, just looked through everything, tried to find the most interesting articles. I was going to say, how did you choose what you cut out? Well, it was tough because there was was just so much material but mm -hmm. like anything that pertained to the civil war or slaves and slave owners you know this was a, a country torn so anything on that topic I wasn't picky I didn't try and you know make Abraham Lincoln look great like there's some pretty gnarly articles in there so it's a um, it's a time capsule it's um, a biography within his portrait so we're just showing video of of you putting this together how long of a process is this <laughs> I lost track of time <laughs> um, the prep time was a long time so I got the box just over a year ago and so I spent months and months just going through all the articles kind of flagging all the, mm -hmm. the you know articles and images that I wanted to use and then the actual assembly time was about a hundred 110 hours to put it all together look at that that that's incredible we just showed the final picture of it ah. <laughs> um, okay so now what is happening with this piece that you've made so uh, this piece is actually going to be up for auction in Chicago, April 18th at Potter and Potter Auctions as part of Eric C. Karen, his collection. He's he's doing an auction and because this is all of his materials that I've taken mm -hmm. and created something with, it will be up for auction within his his auction. What are you hoping for? Like, <laughs> do you even know? what to expect i have no idea um i'm trying to keep the the bar low expectations the expectations low. low um i have heard some people like some people are saying it's gonna go for a couple mil i mean that would be amazing <laughs> life-changing i have no idea no it, it might not even get bid on so you have no uh, clue. i have no idea uh, time will tell we will find out in uh, almost exactly one week okay so cool now quickly before we let you go there is something special so you've made prints of yes. this um piece that he's done of lincoln so people will eventually be able to purchase these prints is that correct that is correct and he does something very special so we click launch project and you just allow your camera to see it and you line it up with Lincoln.
Lincoln literally delivers the Gettysburg Address in front of your eyes. One of the most famous so speeches cool. in American history. So, so cool. Thank so you. So there you go. You can get, you can purchase these uh, once it sells, correct? Yeah. So April 18th is the auction, and then that night they will be on for sale. You can go to livinghistoryart.com and sign up to join the wait list, and then I'll send out an email just to say they're ready to go. Perfect. And quickly, your Instagram is? J-A-M bottle cap art. There you go. Check it out. It is unreal, and it's a local artist. We always want to support local. Thank you so much. So much for coming. Thank you.